In this little video I want to show you how to use the Casio FX115 to solve Manning's equation for a trapezoidal channel. The equation as given to me by Dr. Wade is shown on the screen. In order to use the Casio we have to do some translations of the variables. We don't have a Q variable for example nor do we have a T. We do have a A, B, C, D, X, and Y so we'll do some translations here. The equation will be A equals, notice we've got to use the alpha button, and a couple parentheses to make sure thing, operations get done in the correct order. B, which is going to be used to represent B in the original equation. A is being used to represent Q. Plus uh, T times Y, but in this case T is really the variable C on the, on the Casio and y is y. Close the parentheses and multiply that again by y. Close the parentheses and raise all that to the 5 thirds power. Since I'm in the math I.O. mode I can make it look pretty much like the equation uh, in its original form. So I'll put the 5 thirds power hit the cursor control to the right a couple of times to get back down on the main line and then multiply by that by the square root of s which in this case I'm letting d represent s hit the right cursor control to get out from underneath the radical and then divide by the de denominator and I need a couple parentheses to make sure the operations get done in the correct order whoops I only need one to begin with x which is being used here to represent a uh, variable n. Multiply that by left parentheses b plus 2 times y times the square root. And again, I'm in the math IO mode, so I can make it look pretty much like the original equation. 1 plus C, which is being used to represent T, squared, and get out from underneath the radical, close the parentheses, raise that to the two-thirds power, get out from underneath the, away from the exponent, close the parentheses, and say comma Y, which is shift right pair in alpha y and hit solve which is shift calc. I've already solved this once so I put already had a equal 29 if I hit enter that value again b equal three and a half or enter a new value c equal two and a half or enter a new value d is equal to 0 0.001 x equals 0 0.014 I'm going to put a starting value in like 0 for y since I really don't know what the answer is. And when it solves it, it comes up very quickly on the emulator is 1.6577, probably 10 to 20 seconds on your calculator. If I hit shift solve again and enter the same values for everything except y, maybe I'll enter a stupid value like negative 3 and hit solve, it's going to come up with a negative answer. That simply means that there's another solution, uh, impractical or uh, nonsensical solution that you need to ignore. So it, give it a good starting value. Shift calc, put in value for A, B, C, D, X, and for Y we'll put in 1 as a starting value. And notice we come up with the right answer.